And now Tropical Storm Debbie is making its way up the coast. The Carolinas next up in its path. We do have a live picture now from Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, it's just seeing some of those conditions. They're expecting some gusty winds, rainfall, obviously, and potential flooding along with Debbie. And we are watching this system as it moves away. And with it, all that rain is getting out of here. Yeah, meteorologist Kelly in class is here now. And Kelly, and depending on where you are, though, you might still be waking up with a few sprinkles. That's exactly right. And I would absolutely say a few sprinkles for some spots. It's a few heavier downpours just because of some of these feeder bands from Debbie still working in the parts of central Florida. But I'm not concerned about severe weather. I'm also not really concerned about flooding at this point. It's a whole different story, though, for the Georgia coastline up towards the Carolinas, where Charleston's starting to get some heavier rain bands working on in as a, the core of the storm slowly marches towards Savannah. For a lot of those coastal locations, Georgia today up towards South Carolina, flooding is expected tomorrow in South Carolina up towards parts of North Carolina, also expected and still for South Carolina. And then on Thursday into North Carolina, flooding is expected because in some locations we can see about 10 to 15 inches of precipitation with locally higher amounts. They're going to be dealing with with a really bad flooding situation from Debbie. It's slowly going to crawl. It's going to move off the coast, then move back. And then by the time it hits the mid Atlantic this weekend, it'll be a tropical depression and then a remnant low by Sunday. There